The engine access door light monitors the locked condition of an access door to the number two engine's S-duct. If the door is locked, the light is extinguished. If the number two engine's S-duct access door is unlocked, the engine access door light illuminates and engine starting is possible but prohibited. Should an engine start switch fail to open its respective start valve, the start valve can be manually operated by maintenance. After a start switch is released, the continued illumination of a valve open light and an absence of a rise in duct pressure indicates the start valve did not close. In flight, should a valve open light illuminate, engine bleed air is available to the starter and damage to the engine and or starter may occur. The engine fail lights function when the auto pack trip system is armed and illuminate if a loss of thrust occurs on any engine. The engine fail lights may be canceled by pressing either light. The fuel icing lights monitor the fuel pressure across the fuel filter. These lights illuminate due to a clogged filter caused by filter icing or fuel contamination. The fuel icing lights illuminate intermittently should low fuel pressure or suction fuel feed due to improper fuel management occur. The dual intensity low oil pressure or filter bypass lights monitor the engine oil system for low pressure and oil filter bypass. If engine oil pressure drops below the normal operating range, the respective low oil pressure filter bypass light illuminates to a high intensity. Should an oil filter become clogged and is bypassed, the respective oil pressure filter bypass light illuminates to a low intensity. The N1, N2, and EGT indicators provide their own power for operation, self-generating, while the start valves are battery powered. Therefore, these indicators will be available during a battery start.